Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to configure your jQuery slider um, and make it a little bit more interesting than what we had before. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off here, and I'm just going to remove this title here. So I'm going to click uh, this little arrow, rearrange, and I'll click remove. Okay, apply to all displays. So now we just have our image. Okay, perfect for me. And let's go to settings here under format. So slideshow settings. Okay, so we're going to keep these as an unordered list. Okay, a wrapper class item list is fine. And if you'll notice skin here, it says select the skin you want to use. Um, not all widget support skins. Okay, whatever. Uh, we don't have any skins. Notice how it just says default. In fact, uh, I personally wouldn't even use a skin. I would just maybe do it with CSS. But if you don't know CSS, maybe this is something you can look into. Okay, so uh, slideshow type, this is just going to be cycle, okay? Uh, what's cool about that is, is if you have other jQuery plugins that you wanna be using, and they have a Drupal add-on, um, for instance, like Flex Slider, which we'll be using in the future, you'll be able to select it here, um, and this gives you the options for that particular module. If you'll notice here, these are all cycle-specific options. If we wanna change this effect, let's actually, uh, let's do something different. Let's scroll left, or actually let's scroll horizontally. Uh, this way it can be left and right depending on we click forward and back. And we want this to pause on hover, okay? And we don't want it to pause on click because we want it to be able to take you to that piece of content on, on click, okay? Okay, perfect. So if we click this view advanced uh, options, these are some more options. Uh, so start slideshow paused if you want to start it with pause. Start in the last. Uh, none of this stuff is really uh, necessary. These are things they just sort of hide to just uh, so they don't take up all the space. Um, and slideshow after last slide. But it's good to have these options available specifically because we're not getting into the code. We're not writing the JavaScript ourselves. So they have to make it so that the options are all here for us. And uh, you know, definitely, if you're comfortable writing jQuery uh, modules or plugins, if you're, you know, let's say you've, you're familiar with Cycle, you've used Cycle on other websites, that's cool. Uh, you can certainly do that. You can, you know, add the the plugin um, yourself with the JavaScript, and then you can write your JavaScript code. It's not really hard or anything. However, if you want to have it all within, uh, you know, into Drupal, um, I found it is a little bit easier integrating um, things like this into Drupal just by using the modules rather than going straight to the code. Of course, if you want the total flexibility, go to the co code by all means, there's nothing stopping you. Okay, so uh, let's just do this. Let's go to uh, Internet Explorer tweaks, clear type, okay, whatever, clear type background, okay, sure, whatever, just leave those unchecked. And now for widgets, okay? So let's check this out here. Um, if we want to add widgets here, if we want to add a pager to the top, uh, we can do that, controls or whatever. And you'll notice these are the same top or bottom. I'm actually just going to add these to the bottom. I'm going to add uh, controls. Um, let's see. We're going to add a pager. OK, and that should be it. Um, it's asking what, they, what you want them to be. Uh, we'll just say fields, whatever, um, and controls type text, sure. Okay, let's apply to all displays. Okay, let's check it out here. If you'll notice, there's this previous pause and next, and now it's sliding horizontally. Here we go. Perfect. Cool, let's actually change this some stuff around here. Let's turn off the pager. And let's make it slide vertically. Okay, let's apply. Okay. Let's update our preview. Okay. Okay, so now it's sliding vertically. Perfect. And now, as you can see, it's pausing on hover. If we click on this, it's going to take us to that project. Okay, and usually what I would do from here is just style these up with CSS, um, make these buttons look nice, and um, that way, you know, you have total con complete control over it. Uh, let's go back into settings one more time. If you'll notice, there was this uh, jQuery cycle custom options. Um, to use these advanced options, you'll need to download uh, this package. 
you can check it out if you want. But as you can see, we've got this working as a slideshow uh, perfectly. It's totally not necessary unless you need that stuff and you know what you're looking for. So don't worry about it. Um, and so here we are with the jQuery uh, slideshow. We have next buttons and then we can style it up with CSS. Let's click save and see it on our page and we should be all good. Here it is at the bottom. Perfect. And like I said before, if you want to have the image size be different, you know, you can go to configuration and image styles and create an image, image style for whatever you want. Uh, if you need help doing that, we have a tutorial on image styles. It's one of the earlier ones. You can just look in our tutorials list and look for Drupal image styles. We'll show you how to do that. Cool. Well, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Level Up Tuts on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye.